Hey guys, um, thanks for joining in today. Today we're going to be looking at a 2018 Chevrolet Sonic LT. Um, this thing's been around since 2012. Um, and if you've been around watching it for a while, you're going to notice some distinct differences that I'm going to point out over the course of the next few minutes here. You're going to notice that this grill is completely different. They two-tiered it, unlike the honeycomb, the honeycomb style grills they used to have. It's a wide open in front face shift here. Um, they made the Chevrolet bow tie a little bit more distinct. They also changed the front headlights. The front headlights used to be separated, motorcycle style, and now they lens them in and make it look a lot cleaner look. Um, if you come around to the side, standard on all LTs now are the alloy wheels. It didn't used to be that way in the past. One thing I will point out, that unlike a lot of small compact cars, it does have breakaway mirrors in both directions. It's a pretty awesome feature to have in case you go through drive throughs car washes, um, things of that nature. Not a whole lot that you can talk about across the body side of the changes wise, except for they did change the lines that run down here and the lines across the bottom of the car. As we come around to the back, I'm going to show you a little bit about the trunk and um, the tail light distinctions. As I spoke about a little bit ago, the 2012s completely redesigned to make a new model Sonic, and now for 2018, this is completely redesigned. Featuring things in more of a square style. It's got a lot of lines that run through the bottom of the bumper. One thing I think that they did pretty cool was put Sonic here and broke up the S in two little check mark swooshes. I think it's just neat. Um, it is an LT model, like I stated. This one is going to have a rear vision camera, which we'll get to shortly. And one thing I think is pretty cool is that it has a trunk lid looking spoiler. It's not a spoiler. You're going to notice that it's a huge amount of space in here. And i got some fairly long arms. But you can fit a lot of extra stuff in here. On the inside, I'm going to go over the fact that you can fold down the seats, but we'll get to that shortly. One thing that I think that is awesome cool is that they did include a compact spare. Most vehicles nowadays only come with the inflator kit. If you're from the past generations, you kind of like the idea of changing your own tire. I think that's pretty awesome because they actually kept this in the car. Pretty easy to do. Shut it down, close it. The trunk lid is really super easy in closing, and we're going to get to the inside and show, a little around, show you a little around it. And I do want to point out that this is one huge, small car. Um, and let's not say small, let's call it compact. You're going to see there's a lot of space in here for you to be able to sit down on both sides. Uh, and you can even fit a, a decently small person in this middle hump right here. And they do have their own safety belt. And we also had tether anchors for the child safety latches. As I was stating earlier, that you can lower this seat down to get some extra storage space. This side will as well. So I could actually have a crap load of cargo space, pardon the expression. Um, and I think that's a pretty cool feature for a car of this size. As I close this stuff up, we're going to take a look at the inside and show you a little bit more what's up front. All right, guys, on the inside here, you're going to notice there's a lot of space. I'm six foot tall, and you're going to notice that I've got plenty of space in the front seat for driving. Also, one thing that I think is pretty cool about the car as well is this nice steering wheel. Easily for driving up here, here. It's got all the radio controls and cruise controls conveniently right here in front of me. I've got a nice design here, which I think is awesome that they changed from 2012 because the other design was fairly cool but it was nifty it was more like the motorcycle effect so it was one singular display broken up into another display this is one whole display kept fluid um, and it's got all the information you could want you're gonna come down here you notice an automatic it's gonna have all your trash controls and your um, hood your trunk could release all right here AC and um, heat you need it in the south here I do have an open tier glove box at the top and one below it as well that you'll be able to see. We've got convenient pockets to store things and then the pride and joy of this car is right in here. They changed the audio system. They made it all touchscreen. It does have Wi-Fi. It's got Android Auto. It's got Apple CarPlay. You can sync your phone with it. You can get directions put through the car. It's got OnStar services. It's got a little bit of everything you can want. And um, just so you guys know, I don't have the air up. I should. It's 91 degrees outside. So I took a little bit of suffering to get this video in there. So I'd appreciate it if you guys could like us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, find us on Twitter, um, reach out to us, let us know how we can assist you.